What's going on champs and champs? It's Spire Monkey here over on the CS2 beta, or I guess, you know, limited test or whatever you want to call it. And this is a very interesting experience for me because I have been a retired CSGO player for quite some time now. What I mean by retired is I used to play this game a lot, right? I have some stories I can tell you guys. And we'll actually talk about one of those stories why we can't mess around on the game right now. But I have some stories about my history with CSGO and just playing that game as I grew up. So I used to have this Alienware laptop, right? The Alienware laptop was beat all to hell, if I'm being completely honest, right? It was so beat up that you would sit there, right, and you would be able to actually get, like, zapped by the edge of the laptop and everything, and it was just very uncomfortable, I would say, right? Because, you know, since I was a young kid, I was basically tossing it around. I was like, it's a spicy pizza pie, ya mamma mia, blah, 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 all around the place, right? And I would sit there at my grandma's house with this laptop in my lap as it's burning my legs, and keep in mind, when I was, like, laying down at my grandma's house, I'd be on, like, this little, like, mattress. I wouldn't be on a bed or anything or on a couch, right? I would just be on a mattress most of the time, and I would be playing CSGO in these public lobbies and everything with my headset on, and let me tell you, it's an interesting journey, you know, sitting in the same room as your grandma, playing CSGO competitive, while you have these people, you know, saying things in your ears, being rude or whatever, and you're like, I can't insult you because my grandma is right next to me, and I don't want her to hear me call these people dumb or be rude to them, even if they're rude to me. Now, of course, that was a little bit of just kind of like history with, you know, how I had to deal with everything. Uh, it's a little bit of a, can I? Why? Okay, you know what? Maybe, maybe I need one of those aiming maps. Maybe I need to test my aim on a map or something because man, what was that? What in the world was that? I, oh, there we go. Okay, you know what? Maybe I don't need to test my aim. My aim's been perfect this entire time. But in terms of little like stories I've had here, another thing I should say is if you ever play CSGO, never gamble. Uh, I, th I think that one should just be self-explanatory. Don't gamble. Because as a retired CSGO gambler, let me tell you, I'd go to my grandma's and every weekend, right? Every weekend I would go there or every other weekend or whatever, she would give me $20. And as someone without any income or anything at all, getting $20 is like a paid check and a half. You're like, oh! Oh, there's so many things I can do with it and everything. You can buy a whole entire like indie game. You can buy like a skin or something in CSGO where most of my money went to. Or you could do the worst choice humanly imaginable and get yourself inappropriately hyped like I did. What I mean by that is I would actually go ahead and take the $20 and I would buy some skins in CSGO and everything. This was before we had like trade bans and everything. This was the golden era of CSGO gambling, I should say, right? I would buy some skins in CSGO. I would go ahead and, you know, use those cosmetics and everything else. And then I would put them on a gambling website and try earning a knife and everything. Because you always see all these, you know, unbox channels on YouTube and everything. They're over here like, oh my God, guys, I unboxed the Ruby Sapphire case hardened knife. Oh my god, it's so insane and everything. And you're like, well, I want I want a very cool knife like that as well. And, you know, they're getting it all the time, so maybe I can spend some money, open up a box or whatever, and I will get that knife on top of it. But, you know, no. Those people are spending hundreds upon hundreds and hundreds of dollars to actually get a knife. And on top of that, they are still sitting there and they're making a profit because they're earning money from opening these cases and videos and everything. So, of course, you know, I never actually managed to unbox a knife, sadly, I know, you know, it's such a such a sad sight to see Fire Monkey never got his knife, except for when I was already, you know, making a decent amount of money and everything from social media, and, you know, I was doing a little stream here and there, where someone paid for me to open a box for them and everything, and, of course, I gotta keep whatever was in it, and I unboxed a knife on stream. That was probably, you know, the best highlight of my CSGO unboxing career, but what I would always do is take the money and everything I earned, right, and I would go ahead, or I guess not really earned it, but, you know, that my grandma gave me, and I would go ahead and I would, <laughs> okay, just the whole entire like rolling of the body there, that was that was interesting to me. But I would go ahead and put that money into CSGO skins and then I'd put them on gambling websites. And let me tell you, I actually would earn some pretty cool weapons and stuff, some pretty cool knives and everything, right? I actually got like a whole entire like, I, I forget what it was, it was this like karambit knife that had like a red handle or something. It was like a really cool red knife or whatever that at the time, keep in mind this was a few years ago, uh, it was worth like $2,000, right? It was a very expensive knife knife and everything and I won it from gambling my $20 skins or whatever and at first I withdrew it I was like you know I've already taken a lot of L's and everything from CSGO gambling I'm gonna withdraw this knife and it's gonna be the knife that I keep and everything right because you know a $2,000 knife that is still more than you know what I currently make in a month and everything so it's like I don't mind getting a $2,000 knife or anything like that but of course with that comes little benefits and downsides and everything aka you won once you won all the way up there you gotta keep winning man you gotta keep winning 
mean, you gotta get the best knife in the game. I mean, $2,000, you can split that into multiple skins. You can have, like, $100 per skin in your inventory, and you'll have, like, a super cool inventory that you can use all over the place because, you know, you'll see these weapons and stuff like the M4A1S more than you'll see your knife and everything. Come on, Fire Monkey, put the skin back into the site that you want it on and try winning once more. And you know what happens when you put your skin back into the site like that? It doesn't work well for you. It does not work well for you, let me tell you. You lose your money. Don't go in after, like, if you win, you should have, like, if I was younger and everything, I would have been like, $2,000, that's a lot of money. I'm just going to keep this and cash out then, right? But now I'm in a spot where I'm like, okay, that was a lot of money, but there's no way I'm, you know, like, going to keep this and cash out when I can make more money, right? And, you know, it's like the whole entire saying you hear, gamblers always quit before their biggest win. And maybe that is why that saying exists. Because you have people like me who is gambling, and I quit. Well, actually, I, I, I originally was going to quit, and I was like, what if I get a bigger win, right? What if I make more money and everything? What if I can split this off into more cosmetics and everything else? And then I lost it all. Now, as you know, I only had $20, right? So it was a $20 loss, you know, technically. Technically, the weapon and everything was worth like two thousand dollars or whatever. It was only a twenty dollar loss in like logics for me, right? So it wasn't like I was actually losing that much actual money. I was losing twenty bucks. But for a kid, you know, who just out of nowhere is like, oh, you know, I can earn some money and whatever else. And you see you have a weapon or whatever you want to call it worth $2,000 in your inventory. And then you go ahead and lose that. It doesn't feel like a $20 loss. It feels like a $2,000 loss, right? And that is when all the sadness and despair come into play. Because you're like, man, I, I just lost $2,000, right? It hits the same. It hits the same. Even though you really only lost $20 that you could have profited basically $1,980 with because of, you know, the weapons and stuff you actually managed to get. And I guess that's true with any gambling system, like not even gambling websites, right? But even CSGO cases in general, where there's always a risk to lose money, right? That, 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 that risk is always there no matter what you do. And it's just, it hurts a lot more on websites because on websites, you know, it's a lot more unrealistic that you're going to make this insane amount of profit. Whereas, you know, in CSGO, I can only spend my two to $3 or whatever, get a like 30 cent skin or something and be like oh okay well you know i opened the box i was expecting to lose money anyways because the odds are low or whatever else but you know it, it, it's just an interesting little uh, interesting little phenomenon and a life lesson i've learned is uh just don't gamble just don't do it right i mean you hear these stories about people like uh like uh, oh my god i can't even focus right now i'm getting shot at from everywhere but hear these stories about people like uh what are, xqc who are losing like two million dollars or whatever from gambling and all this stuff and sure you know they already have a lot of money but it's like you know i can't can't afford to lose two million dollars i don't own two million dollars i don't even own half a million dollars so you know it, it, it's like don't gamble don't do it it's a bad thing you're going to lose money you're going to feel sadness you're going to be depressed so just save yourself depression and don't gamble you know i think i think that's like <laughs> it's like hey do you want to not be depressed okay in order to not be depressed, all you gotta do is not gamble, right? You don't gamble, guess what? Now you're the happiest person in the world. Trust me, guaranteed, working every single time. Now, I know I said I would go ahead and buy an actual box for us to open here in CS2 or whatever else, so let me go ahead, go ahead and, like, pause here for a moment. I'm going to buy a box. I'll find a random one on, uh, like, the marketplace or whatever. Try finding one that gives a green knife, because even though we won't get a knife, imagine we get a green one. I love the color green, so I just want something green and pretty. That won't happen. But, of course, I'm gonna do it, so I'll see you in a moment. Actually, before I go ahead and buy the knife, I found out what knife it was that I had, right? And I'm about to look up the actual pricing of it. So what I had was, I had, you know, the... I had a gut knife, right? It was a gut knife, and it was the Autotronic knife. Now, it does appear that now it's only worth around $300. However, if I remember correctly, I upgraded it from the Autotronic gut knife to the Karambic gut knife. Uh, not Karambic gut knife, but to the Karambic Autotronic, which is around $800 to $2,000, so, you know, it definitely appears that my odds and everything, my pricing and everything I mentioned earlier, still checks out to this day because the knife was worth around $2,000 for the Karamba that I actually managed to obtain. So that is something that, you know, is a little, little interesting to actually understand and everything. Now I'll go ahead and buy a case. What if I buy a case that has the Autotronic knife in it? Wouldn't that be funny? Is it even in any cases anymore? 
Gamma case and Gamma 2. Okay, let's see. What does Gamma 2 have? I know I'm like live doing this. Oh, it has a Gamma Doppler, which is a green knife. I'll go ahead and buy ourselves a Gamma case, and we'll try getting a gut knife or a karambit out of it. One second. All right, hello. So, we have the Gamma 2 case here. And let me tell you, firstly, this is expensive, and you may notice we're also on CSGO uh, 1.0, I guess you would call it, or whatever else. But this is expensive because of the fact that the cases are now like $3. I remember when these were like 10, 20 cents or whatever. But of course, for the video, I thought I'd go ahead and do it. Now, this did cost me like five dollars so i'm hoping for at least something decent maybe even a p90 grim because i mean that looks nice but after we get whatever we end up getting we will go back on cs2 to see what it looks like on there so let's go ahead and open up the box and everything and just hope for the best however it's probably going to be a blue or something all right what are we going to get here and we get a blue oh i was hoping for the blue looking blue weapon not that but you know what I guess it's okay. I guess it's fine. Let's go ahead and hop back on CS2 and show you guys what this skin actually looks like. All right, here we are back on CS2. And if we go to our inventory here and everything else, by the way, we should put on one of these music packs, but I don't know if they're like copyright or whatever. We'll put on the Halo one though. Go ahead, get some Halo music going on here in the lobby. Uh, ignore... Okay, listen, I was I was a little kid when I made this. Please, please, can I not get canceled for this, okay? <laughs> I, I was like 12 or something when I did that, okay? Uh, same with the knives, okay? Uh, we don't, we don't, wait, where even is the name tag on this? Can't even see the name tag on the knife, it's just called that. Okay, well, listen, we don't need to talk about those three things. Don't look at them at all, they don't exist, but if we look at our actual weapon up here, we can see that we have a very interesting design going on. You know, it definitely looks a lot cleaner in CS2, so the weapons are going to just be nice to look at and everything, right? They're just going to be completely, you know, spotless or whatever in their own little ways, but it does make me wonder, if I go ahead and look up one of those knives that I want, right? And I go over here on the actual marketplace or whatever, I go factory new, stat track, all that type of stuff. What I, actually, I'm not even going to do stat track, because I don't know how the knife system works i'm just going to type factory new and we're going to look at knives i'm going to see if i can like inspect them in game here in cs2 to see what they look like and oh we can oh okay so for a blue knife right i it wouldn't be anything i use i know that the shadow daggers are just kind of memed on and everything else but oh wait 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 i see my green knife i see the green knife that i want so badly let me go back here real quick and pull that up here but it is something that you know looks very shiny in this whereas you know in like cs 1.0 it doesn't look as shiny that that's not really green if i'm being honest here that's a little a little different from green i assume like the float or something's a little off there that's more green okay and then we like we can actually view it on the player model and everything else now we can't view it in first person but we can just kind of you know view the finish the float and everything else and it looks very clean this one right here looks very yellowish green or whatever in the preview but it's more of like a blue it just looks like weapons as you know a whole just kind of have this nice little reflection going on with them and if we go all the way here to the most expensive version if the site stops glitching out on me we have oh look at that Look at that, look how shiny it is. If I had this, I would I, I would never sell it or anything. I would keep this and I would use it all the time because that just looks so beautiful. Oh, oh, look at how the, like, the light reflects on it. No wonder weapons and stuff, you know, skins and everything else have gotten a lot more expensive than CS2. But yeah, as you can tell, skins look very interesting. I'm going to probably end up building a loadout because I'm going to be a little honest here. After playing CS 1.0 and finding out that they had short matches... I'm kind of tempted to play a little bit more CSGO again. That's a terrible choice on my part, right? Because, you know, skins and everything, expensive. But it is still something that is going to be fun for me to do. Hopefully, assuming I don't end up rage quitting based on, you know, rude teammates or whatever else. With that said, hope you champs, champions, enjoyed today's video. Here's another look at some of the other menus. We have the loadout menu and everything here. We have Berlin 2019 coins. You can see I've played this for a while. 2017 service medal. We have 2021. I, I've taken a break, definitely, as you can tell there. We have silver operation hydro coins. We have all that stuff. Can I, like, equip these or display this item? Okay. Wait. Is the display different depending on which side you're on now? Wait, so if I... You can drag it now. Okay, that's weird. Huh. So the display... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. It is the same display. Okay, so I... It is the same. Now, I am noticing, however, that, you know, you kind of, like, select which spray you want to use. And this only has two charges and everything else. But it's interesting to see how they have all these options here. Now, I'm glad that I can't... Oh, I can't equip the knife. Okay. Well, everyone can cringe at me when they see my knife in the game. Now, I'm not for sure if I can even equip the bomb anymore. Because, as you can see here, there's no way to equip this, right? So, I just have this named bomb or whatever that has no actions available to it and everything. It's just, it's just kind of there. Now, of course, will I end up playing this game too much to the point where I end up losing all my money? That waits to be seen. But until next time, hope champs and champions enjoy today's YouTube video. If you did, consider subscribing to the content I create, and I will catch you guys next time with another upload. Peace out.